Hello everyone, please don't forget to like and subscribe, today we have an interesting post from Reddit. Without further ado, let's get into it. Topic: My wife recently confessed to cheating on me and had an abortion before our wedding, 6 years ago. My wife, 37 female, and I, 35 male, met 10 years ago. We dated for 3 years before we got engaged for 1 year. We have 3 year old twin girls. I can say we have a great marriage. Last week her brothers and sisters and their spouses came to visit. It had been long since we saw them in the slightest chance, they got they came to see us. Honestly, we had a good time catching up. We talked and chatted about different topics. Then the topic of infidelity came up. Her cousin had been cheated on by his wife and we were talking how the guy was suffering and how horrible it is for him and how infidelity affects the BS and etc. As the conversation was going on, I noticed my wife seemed distracted, like she was trying to forget some suppressed memories. She seemed not wanting to be involved in the conversation. And she kept excusing herself to get more drinks, to go to the bathroom, to check on the kids and etc. after my in-laws left. I confronted her. And that's when she told me that she has something to tell me. She sat me down and warned me what I was about to hear was going to be hurtful. She then went ahead to tell me that she had sex with her boss several times two months before our wedding and three weeks before I came back from a work trip abroad. She said before I left for my trip, we were not on good terms. One week before the trip we had had one huge argument which turned into a small fight. And at some point, I had started withdrawing emotionally. Then this guy came and pushed the right buttons and worked his way into my then fiancé's pants. She vented to him about the struggles in our relationship and he was there to support her emotionally. I can remember this time that the calls and the video chats had reduced. And when we talked it didn't last long as before but I didn't think much into it. They hooked up at his place, and even at our apartment and on our bed. This guy was married, and he had three kids and was about 20 years older than my wife. She told me that their affair lasted 6 weeks out of the 4 months I was away for work. Then when she found out that he was also sleeping with other women, she ended it. And that's when she realized she had been played by this guy. She felt ashamed and hated herself that she had fallen for a player. A few days after she had ended her affair, she discovered she was pregnant. She knew the AP would not support her and if I discovered that she was pregnant I would leave her and her family would disown her, especially her father. So, she decided to terminate the pregnancy. I remember her calling me crying and confessing her love for me and asking me whether I will ever leave her. Then she started blowing up my phone with love messages telling me she couldn't wait to see me and everything. Before she finished her confession, both of us were, in tears. But rage and anger were eating me from inside and I was trying really hard not to tell or break anything. She then went ahead to swear that she has never cheated on me during our marriage and that she has always wanted to confess but didn't know how to do that. She said that when the conversation of her cousins came up all the guilt came back in full force and hit her heart. That the memories she had tried to suppress were eating her up. I don't know what to do, I love my wife very much, and I can say that I have been happily married for those 6 years and I don't want to lose anything right now. Not my girls, not my wife, not my house. But I don't know how to get over this. It has been two days since her confession and honestly the only thing that keeps me moving is my two daughters. I'm trying to be strong for them. But I feel like losing my mind and going insane. Everything seems fake and like a lodge. I have been sleeping in my car even though we have a spare bedroom. And I have started smoking again. And I'm trying to avoid my wife and as much as possible and ignoring anything that comes out of her mouth. I can't even look at her in the eyes. I'm lost. This is the end of the post. Now I will try to decode the reason why she cheated and what options are available to the husband. The reason why she cheated? She cheated because of the thrill, she is easily seduced. She likely succumbed to flattery easily. The guy she was cheating with is a married man, with three kids and was about 20 years older than her. Which indicate that the affair was mostly physical, and she knew it would only be sexual relationship. So she wanted a side guy all to herself to satisfy her sexual appetite fetish. Her affair partner is 20 year older so she may have a fetish to be dominated, something she is not getting from you. She told you that their affair lasted 6 weeks out of the 4 months while you were away for work. Chances are that the affair lasted longer than 6 weeks, she is telling you half truth, I assure you that she is still holding back more secrets because cheaters rarely review the entire story. They prefer to half truth you. 
she only broke up with him because she was one of many side pieces otherwise, she may have continued the relationship till this day. What should the husband do? This is a tricky situation, because your daughters are involved. Let's face it, your wife is a freak and if she would have unprotective sex with strangers and allow them to come in her multiple times then it wouldn't be far-fetched that she would allow random dudes around your daughters, therefore divorcing will definitely affect the daughters, young children often struggle to understand why they must go between two homes. They may worry that if their parents can stop loving one another that someday, their parents may stop loving them. According to the Pew Research Center, about 40% of new marriages in the U.S. in 2013 included one spouse who had been married before and in 20% of new marriages both spouses had been married before. That means many children endure ongoing changes to their family dynamics. The addition of a step-parent and possibly several step-siblings can be another big adjustment. And quite often both parents remarry, which means many changes for kids. However, you do not want to stay in an unhappy marriage because of you kids, life is too short. Your wife was deceitful, the foundation of your marriage was built with lies. But before this secret came to light she did a very good job at keeping you happy and making you feel like you had a happy marriage, although she seems genuinely remorseful, beware it's a ruse. The reason why she is confessing is because she is trying to test you, she loves the thrill, she wants to know how you would react. She knows that you are vulnerable and whatever outcome would be in her terms so you have to throw a curveball at her, there has to be consequences. You have three options. First option, divorce her and end the relationship. Most likely you will lose half of your shit in the court. You wouldn't be able to be present in your children's life like you want to, and risk having strange men around your daughters. You may later end up with a woman to live happily ever after like a Disney movie, that's the option most people pick. Second option, forgive her, send her to marriage counseling etc etc. But know that if you follow this option, she will cheat again. If you do not divorce her now or let her off with no serious consequences then she will subconsciously accept that you gave her the permission to do it again. Third option, become cold and cerebral by going the blackmail route. You get to keep everything and live your life like a alpha male and let me explain, let's face it your marriage is a fraud, you married a thrill seeker and she sees you as a plan B provider. You have already made the mistake of not knowing who you really married, so now you have to do something unconventional. You have to take advantage of the fact that she is vulnerable and remorseful by playing on her guilt to regain your alpha. Chances are that if you play your game right you can get her to accept a one-sided open relationship or even have her recruit woman for you to sleep with, she wanna be dominated so dominate her. She seems like a freak so she might get a kick out of it. Thanks for staying to the end of this video, please like and subscribe. Feel free to express your opinion on the comment section.